So before I even touch the computer, I am immediately in my field notes book and I'm already concepting out what I'm gonna create before I jump to the digital medium. Why am I talking about this? Well, today we're going over uh, design critique and I wanna show you guys what I'm up to, what's in my mind and how I create um, something interesting that would be used in a lot of different promotion material. Okay, first things first, forget all the design books for now. This is what I'm talking about, field notes. Now, this is where I begin to grind out my work and begin to create stuff. This is where I concept, where I wireframe, where I do layouts, where I do all these different things and try to focus on design layouts to create design. Now, what I was assigned to do for my final project for digital layout and design was utilize, you know, my skill set in order to create four portfolio pieces. Now, I'm going to kind of jump into what we're talking about on the big screen and let's do it in three, two. So first things first, I'm looking at my first pamphlet poster layout design over here and um, a couple quick things. So core message, the style. Well, what you can kind of see here is I am creating a two sided eight and a half by 11 pamphlet layout. And what it's designed to do is if you look at the, uh, the first page, why the YW, it's meant to be split down the middle and it's supposed to be folded, kind of like hot dog style. So you have the back here with uh, the lovely Megan and the front here, it's kind of showing our, like the logo of the, uh, the YW and then further down below, YWCA, got a St. Vincent seal down here. And then you look at the back and it kind of dives further into the student and actually what's going on and why we're doing, you know, a highlight piece. And I kind of focus on that because I like the student highlight idea of all this and it just keeps it really honest. Um, real quick, our style, kept it pretty simple. Uh, follow the uh, college style guide, stuck our logo in the bottom. Um, the tone is generally positive. I kept the colors pretty popping, so it's kind of like a, it's kind of like a, it, the tone is pretty loud, I would just say, with the uh, oranges, the greens, the low tones. Actually, the second page with that yellow backdrop of like, the stained glass, it's definitely pretty loud. The oranges definitely give it a lot of pop. Um, fan base, let's talk about that. Generally, what that means is the people that are gonna be looking at it, and for the most part, the students that will be looking at this, and department and faculty will be in the communication department, uh, departments, so it's prospect students, students that are coming to St. Vincent that are looking at this and, and thinking if it's kind of interesting or not. Um, real quick, um, what I did to lay this poster out, I did use my field notes book and I went through several different concepts. I decided to uh, work on some layouts of my poster design. So the first things I did was generic, like, you know, a three page layout that was like a pamphlet, tried an eight and a half by 11 page layout. And that kind of was the one I decided to go with. The eight and a half by 11 double sided, kept it really simple for prints. You know, I did do color because the um, I'm, I'm assuming, you know, potentially the client's looking at something that's a little bit nicer, promotional material, full color. And uh, just some of the generic things that I did, um, like just overall was I stuck to the St. Vincent color palette. I like the uh, greens and I like the yellow of the picture that actually, you know, that kind of matched up with our color. I decided to stick with, instead of our Bearcat logo, our, our green or our black and blue shield because it's a little more eloquent and fancy. Uh, the overall layout and style to a T is just something very generic that I've used in promotional material in the past for the college that's went out. Um, just something very, very simple. It highlights a student, highlights the event, and goes a little bit into detail about what our message is. All right, cool, so moving on. I'm going into our ethics poster design. So if I hop out of that and just make sure we have one page that's shown here. What well, we can kind of see, the ethics poster design is pretty wild. I kind of copied actually a concept from these amazing designers that are known um, on YouTube as The Future, run by Christo, big shout out to him, he's amazing. Uh, what Christo does is his style is fo focusing on the Futura font. Now, this poster was really, really cool because I decided to go with a very clean cut modern design. As you can see, I'm using uh, lots of rectangles, squares, a couple curves in there that match like a uh, the idea of maybe like a nucleus flowing around. We got the Da Vinci Man in the center. We got a, a microchip in the bottom right hand corner. Um, just we got a, like a person back there. You can kind of see them, like the glowing lights on, kind of Blade Runner retro. You can kind of see the nucleus 
faded in here by um, the Venturian man. So basically the style and tone is futuristic. It's clean cut. It's interesting. You know, it's something that draws your eye. It's got a lot of sharp edges. It's got the future branding down there. It's got our date over here. It's got just the Da Vinci man stuff, art plus design, science, something interesting. You got the, in the top right or left hand corner, you got the Da Vinci man episode 001 or, and then we got over here on the far uh, right, it's a uh, marriage of art and design science p219 it's a little shout out to uh, uh our hall uh where our class is in 219. um just overall uh what informed me about the choices i just wanted to do a slick layout and do kind of a case study in the future and i went ahead and actually mocked it up down here on a little uh a little work over here just to show it out as a poster concept by on a, like a red carpet event looks kind of interesting it's popping it doesn't really have any dates on there that would do something so as a revision i would definitely apply more important dates like a call to action um the color and typeface overall is just interesting because i wanted to use red and my color theory behind this was i found the mock-up background first and i was like okay cool i want something to match with this background now red is generally used in food but I wanted to apply it to science, kind of draw someone in, have that, that idea of like interest, even intrigue, maybe even a little bit of like that love kind of uh, concept. It's like, ooh, wow, this is interesting. That makes, this pulls me in. This makes me al almost like drawn to it in, in a way that science usually doesn't have the draw. You know, the science doesn't usually use these pop and reds unless we're, you know, talking about veins or blood vessels. And I want to do something appealing and almost, almost like in, a, in, in an enveloping kind of way. And that's where the color theory of red was chosen with this. And and the mock-up backdrop um the fan base overall this would be something more for just designers and kind of layout artists uh, possibly science students that are looking at our college website and they're looking at something interesting and i just wanted to make something interesting that pops and makes things di different and the ethics layout is just um, something really sharp that i decided some critiques i would probably do is just add my call to action and try to incorporate more important dates in here the design elements i believe are sharp but they could always use improvement now moving on we can move out to our book cover layout and this is this is a cool concept um i decided to use uh the message which is like a contemporary bible by eugene h peterson and it went through two revisions actually the first revision uh this is original photography and the style was a little bit too religious it had too much religious symbolism so we went through, went through a second rendition that you know appealed more to the target demographic that is you know, young millennials that are like i don't want to read a bible and this is something interesting guys i actually stuck an iphone on there put the little quote in there with some illustrator magic self is the soul minus god get yourself to god and i thought that was kind of interesting stuck in all the necessities in here a text you know we get the title it's a one two three four five panel book cover with the uh wraparounds in there so that looks pretty sharp it's pretty interesting um Overall, I decided to go with, uh, I believe, two typefaces on here. I have a Times New Roman as my primary font and like an Avenir, con or not an Avenir, I think it's a Futura condensed text. So that's something um, that I decided to switch in. And now I mess with the kerning a little bit all through here um, just to make it, you know, give, give a little bit of breathing room in the bottom right hand corner. I get the quotes down here to make them a little bit more spaced out on the um the back page the back panel of the book just some interesting stuff that i was trying to go um the color overall it's the same rose gold as the iphone metal which i thought kind of resonated whether and it's kind of easier on the eyes than those dark black and white tones i have in the prior um the prior design and last but not least, we actually have the CD cover. And this was a cool mock-up that I did of our CD cover of Bruno Mars. Um, I did the full layout spread. And this is just meant to be, you know, something inside the booklet showing all the songs. And I had Bruno Mars decided to do more of like an animated drawn look. Those, these photos are photos done with a little bit of an image trace and kind of a Gaussian blur effect to kind of give this, this nice, like, kind of futuristic look but very stylized and clean um the overall fan base that i was going for was you know young millennials uh, i was looking for people that are interested in bruno mars that are vibing with his his game um one thing that i did want to really hone in on was the oh bruno mars and kind of how that is like a form of branding as you can see the title is at the you know this this like this kind of Bruno Mars, Dubops and Hooligans look with that transparent O is all over the place. And I put it on the back and on the front uh, covers of the CD. So that's something interesting. It's a different, it's a change. 
um, and it kind of it intrigues and matches with the glasses, you know, that, that circular that circular aesthetic of the image I was choosing to put on the front for the branding. Um, uh, kind of what informed me on these choices, I really like the black and white vibe. So I decided to go with the, you know, Bruno Mars is a pianist, so if you look, there's fine details in the actual page layout in the center here of the, uh, the piano on the left and the right sides and, and some of the pictures. And the piano, the, key, the, the keys are the blacks and the whites. And I thought that was kind of interesting and it looked clean. So I decided to go with that. Um, and that's more of the graphical shapes that I was going for. Those were also repeating elements. It, it played into the layout because it's a nice clean look once you look it into a folded uh, pattern or a folded layout that you would find inside a CD cover. Um, the overall style, I decided to go with the Avenir Pro font, so something pretty clean and sharp, yeah, nothing too crazy. Just you know, mess with the kerning a little bit, just expanded some of my text um, or copy just to make it look a little sharper. And yeah, that's about it. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching. And um, I hope this kind of showed you a little bit of an idea into how I work as a designer, kind of the layout, always constantly learning, critiquing, revising, doing the best I can at what I can do. So yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned for next week.